Hey, how y'all doing today? It's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the best film writer and director in St. Louis, activist, published author. Y'all already know Lacey G. Soda Turner. I am here with one of the most prestigious battle rappers uh, to date. You know what I'm saying? He's been killing stuff. Everything. I'm about to write a major article on this man because. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, he, he do everything. So we got easy to block captain in the building. What's cracking? What's going on with you, man? I appreciate you for having me, oh, first man. and foremost. Oh, man, no problem, man. I, I, man, I, be, Before I start this interview, man, uh -huh. you want Verve for the lock-in? I finished. <laughs> yeah, man, Verve got locked in, man. You know, it's time. Man, it's Listen, you know what me, man. All of them can lock in, bro. All of them can lock in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's bread to get out there, you know what I mean? And it's still stories to tell, you dig what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, I'm, you know, yeah, man, I'm with all of it. Hey man, I love like man, I love the slick talk you do, man. Just the like I told you before, I said you mentioned when you told T Top when he played what you call you like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all need a friend, man. I talked to myself, you know. This uh -huh. the bro, it, I just feel that, but but let me get into this. So the first Let's question go. is, um, who is easy to block captain, and where did the name come from? Uh, you need a block captain, man. I'm just a, you know, I'm a regular, regular, you know, dude that just been through like a lot of things. You dig what I'm saying? Like, um, to to the point that I would even say that I didn't even really start taking rapping serious till about 19. You dig what I'm saying? Like, because of just the the growing up pains was, you know, crazy. Really couldn't focus on, you know, things that you wanted to do and, and all of that. You know what I mean, you know, back in the day, we we wanted to be. We wanted to play ball. You dig what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. I mean, we wanted to ball up, man. We seen basketball players and football players and all that. Or we wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Or you see the, the like, like the glamour. So you want to do shit that's fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's always like that. Um, easy would really come from the way I was just telling the story the other day. Is um, I used to like, I still wear glasses, but before the context, I had glasses and shit. And I, you know, I can't see far away. So my friend used to be big as shit. Like I swear to God, right? You know what I'm saying? Like everybody used to just say, like, I look like a, a fucking Eric, right? So that's where I really <laughs> took a little like to eat from the swear, right? Um, living with my mom and I, you know, I had two brothers and all of that. Um, I was just always slick and, and like, well, get in trouble. And I just find a way to not get a beating, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it just walks to, like, slide out easy and all of that shit. They be like, yo, you think you need me? You think it used to be a joke. It used to be a joke with my brother. Like, you will never get in trouble. Like, you just, you know what I mean? So, like, that's how, like, the easy, you know, like, happened and all of that. It was just from, like, a childhood thing and all that. And the block captain happened, like, literally when I was, like, 19. I was trapping and all of that shit. And just, like, I, just wanted, I ain't wanted to be easy. I just wanted to be, like, easy, something, something. Okay. Uh, well, mm -hmm. we where were you born and raised at? And did you uh, go to college or anything? Um, I was born in Philadelphia, PA. I was born in Germantown. Um, I was raised in North Philly. I've been um, lived in South Philly. Um, I lived in Northeast Philly. I lived everywhere in Philly. I lived out of town too, out of uh, Philly, out of PA, a little couple of years. Um, you know, mom got that I went to little shelters and all of that shit. So I was, you know, won't say like an orphan or like, but you know, sometimes when situation called itself i had to live in other you know what i'm saying like in um, other um, areas and all of that um did i graduate high school i actually did when i was in placement you know what i'm saying i went to placement when i was younger so then um actually that was like a uh so i graduated with a high school like diploma actually there like no gd you know what i'm saying like um I went to college. I went to a uh, community college of Philadelphia for like a half a semester. I had my daughter. Then I wound up going to Strayer um, online. And um, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. okay, so what made you uh, start rapping? What made you get into that art form? Well, we was always we was always rapping, but I guess as a kid, you don't. Know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never had no structure. I mean, I guess, like, my first song was, uh, I ain't gonna lie, man, that shit was trash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I remember, I remember, I remember I came to my dad's house and I just was like, Dad, I'm gonna try and rap now. And like, he listened to my song and he told me it was trash. Like, so I was, I was like, oh shit. So imagine, imagine like you coming up with, with like you dreaming of the rap and like your dad be like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. So it wasn't really, until uh, 
19 until I, me and my brother decided to like put out like our first project and take it like serious and all of that. And even that was kind of light, but you know, I was starting to get it though. You know what I'm saying? I was starting to get it because I always liked music because I played um in a band. So I played, I played the uh trumpet. So I can read and write um, you know, of music. So I always, you know, like loved like just music, period. It was just like the physical rapping wasn't my thing until I got like a little older. You know what I mean? You know, you don't put kids will rap all the time. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it don't mean you good. You, know? you dig what I'm saying? Like, so when I found out that I, like, had a story to tell, when I started putting the pain in the bars, I think that's when I was like, okay, I can do this shit. So who are some of your influences in the, you know, hip-hop industry that you listen to that kind of help you uh, with your craft? Okay, so the first thing I ever wrote to was the uh, Bad Boy soundtrack. The, um, so when the, when the first Bad Boy soundtrack came out, I mean, a bad, 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 bad boy, right? I wrote a little joy to that. That was, like, the first time I ever, like, tried to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like that. So it was the, um, what's funny is, is uh, in a chess battle, I said, you know, you brought up little CD that I turned around cassette tapes. I actually yeah. had, uh, <laughs> I had the, um, I had the, I had the Raekwon Purple Tape on cassette tape. I had the Will Smith. You jiggy with it on cassette tape, yeah, right? Yeah, throwback, the throwback to me. Mm-hmm. And I had the um LL Cool J jaw. I had the LL Cool J jaw, like, and I used to just like, I used to like run those three jaws like to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. until, yeah, man. You know what I mean? So I really, you know, we was at the I think you know what you mean because I'm early 30s, so we was at like the early, the like the end of the cassette tape era because that's when like the CDs was about to drop and all of that. But you know, after that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But um that uh you know of course you know Tupac and uh Biggie. But what's funny is my mom was a big R and B fan. Mm. So a mm. lot of times in the house it was R and B. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was more of that too. And then you can learn really a lot from R and B as well, because the stories that's behind that too. You know what I mean you get a feeling from and they should be singing a story. So we really like grew up a lot on like R and B and then like the average, you know, shit from you know the Will Smiths and all of that. Then when we got to the teenagers, then that's when like we started getting deep into you know the things like the uh the state properties and all of that and the uh figures and major figures, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah. But like classic classics was like all the older, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like that, yeah. So uh, I think I saw somewhere where you said you was had to, you know, do the afting and sell the tickets to go to the shows and all. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did afting a few times. A few times I did that. Um, we did the uh, Power of '99 conventions when they was coming out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually almost won one of them joints in 2008. <laughs> Almost one, I came in like second place. I came in like second place. And, um, you know, it didn't work. But all that was experience, though. Right. You dig what I'm saying? All that was experience. Even, you know, the, the Afton, uh, uh, selling your own tickets, getting people to right. come out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all oh, that's experience until you get there. Yeah. yeah. So what made you uh, start battle rapping? What made you transition over to that? So basically, it kind of feeds into that, like the Afton and all of that stuff. So, all right, so just regular rapping. Uh, wasn't like gonna work like so where I'm seeing everybody you know on TV getting all you know these chains and money and shit you know you could you convinced that you could do it I knew I had the talent for it but it wasn't it wasn't happening like that <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it wasn't happening like that I wasn't getting the looks I didn't feel like it was it was going as it's supposed to go and so when I came home from like my first bed I just wanted to try something new. So, you know, that's when I started digging deep into, because from there on, the only battle I actually seen before I thought about battle rapping was Freeway and Cassidy. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But to your thing with Freeway and Cassidy, it's, uh, you know, they were just trying to rap. You know what I mean? It was more rap. It was more rap. Nobody really came to battle. It was just Cassidy. It was just Cassidy at that point. So, you know what I mean? Like, I just, you know, I looked at it like that. But when I came home, I started doing, like, the research. 
Mm-hmm. So now the research is I'm watching like E Nuts, you know what I'm saying? Like E Nuts and Um Hollow Man was like the first official battle I watched. Mm-hmm. After you know, after Hollow Man, I go start watching all E Nuts battles. After E Nuts battles, he battling T Rex. Now I'm starting to watch all T Rex battles. Now T Rex battling this nigga. I am starting to watch all. You dig what I'm saying? So now yeah, it's exactly. just like boom, I ran into Hollow. I ran in, so I'm just like, all right. So now for like the next year, I'm just catching up on shit. <laughs> like damn, these niggas is really you know what I'm saying. I'm like, You still there, Eve? You still there? You still there? You still Yo. There? Oh yeah. Okay, you back. You had left. All right. Yeah. 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 Let me go. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go down real fast. I'm gonna finish right. with you. <laughs> uh, so you I want to time too. Yeah. Yeah. I got time. I got time. I don't gotta catch my flight for like five. I got time. Okay. I probably got like ten more minutes. I need. Um. Tell All me right. about your bids. Like, how did they come, you know, happen? You know, how did you get caught on whatever you was doing and all that? Um, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, drugs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first case was, uh, uh, the first, as a juvenile, I had another um, weapons charge, and then it went to a drug charge, and then it went to another drug charge. And, you know, some bullshit. It's like, once you get in that shit, you be trying hard to not stay in that joint, but it's like, that's all you know. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And then it went to, you know, I got caught, you mean, a gun and shit. Then it went to the gun case, and then it was just like, all right, you starting to spend a lot of time in between these shit. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? Like, it's like... Bro, you gotta tighten up. You dig what I'm saying? Like I said, I got like an adjustment, man. Like when my big mom used to got mad, like yo, you go back to jail, and niggas ain't niggas ain't rocking with you no more. And then younger, be like, man, and to start understanding, people got their own life. Never got time to be watching. You keep going back people lives and all that shit like you know what I'm saying like so at the, I had to, once I had to learn like this shit really on me every mistake I made is on me I mean like then that's when I started to like and mem- like mentally you know what I mean like bro, I was old I was an adult but mentally I wasn't an adult yet mm. yeah, man. yeah so uh how much how much time did you do in there in the uh in- well I mean all the all to all together I did about five and a half Mm. Mm-hmm. So the last when you got out the last time, you was like, I ain't going back up in this piece, y'all, for to do this this rapper stuff. I was so pissed this last time. I was like, you know what? I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like long, you know what I mean? Because it could have been longer. You dig what I'm saying? It could have been a longer situation. We wind up getting it, you know, to a, a situation. I you know what I mean, like, all right, cool, I'll take that. I'll take that deal. And I'm like, yo, after this. I'm done. We gonna really like set focus on something, and we just gonna go with that. Like you know what I'm saying, we just gonna go and then just move smarter. And plus, I got kids out here, man. I can't keep going back and forth with them. That's just sloppy. Right. Well, I'm salute you for that, bro. Uh, what do you mean when you say the talk is different? You know, you always tell people I talk different. The talk, the talk is the talk different. Listen, man. I rap from experiences, you know what I'm saying? I rap from I rap from pain, I rap from experiences, I rap from my, my little brother's experiences, you dig what I'm saying? Like I rap for I rap for shit that I actually been through and I seen. So when I say the talk different, I'm not a punchline rapper, I'm not like a lyric, like a lyrical spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I want to be categorized like as my like I want to like have my own category, like the talk, the talk different. I don't rap like nobody. So it's just like you wanna get but I feel like battle rap is to me. Right. So one yeah. thing I, I see about you, like, you know, like uh, me being a battle rapper, I see when you battle people, it seems like you focus on every line. Like you don't waste anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're direct. Uh, and what made you like start doing it? Cause a lot of people add a lot of filler to their stuff. Like you mm-hmm. scan your opponent, you always direct. And I can tell, like I say, you focus on every line. So what made you start doing that? I mean, that's I think that's just the um when you evolve from like battle rap, because at first I wasn't at first I wasn't doing that. I was um just rapping. And then when I understood that, you know, uh battle rap has their own you know, version of hip hop, then you gotta try to upgrade it to that. So you actually you're physically battling, because I can just rap on the beat. And all of that, you dig what I'm saying? Like, but when you go and battle in a person, you actually got to battle that person. 
and then you know I had to take a couple battles that people had like um, a de- like people had um a debatable you know, yeah people had a debatable with me and, and niggas used to be like because you're not direct enough you like you're fired but you're not direct enough so I'm like okay once people start talking shit about me I said oh okay <laughs> I said okay this is what they want I'm a, I'm, I'm a shit talker I'm just like okay this is what they want cool you know what I'm saying so then then I started updating. So that's why people say I'm getting better now, because I am. Every battle, I'm still getting better. I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still learning how to update my shit. So, yeah, yeah it's going to get worse. Mm-hmm. I saw that when you was telling Chess, he was like, while he was rapping that, you was focusing on his performance and the things mm-hmm. he was doing. So I love that in you, man. You're a student of the game, man. And we need more people because it seems like a lot of battle rappers don't care no more. They just come and get their money and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's one of the, the people that still care. So um, do you still get, I know you said somewhere you still, you get nervous when you finna perform. Do you still get nervous when you get up there? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All the time, man. All the time. And I say like, um, my old head just say, you know, you can tell me like, if you stop getting nervous on something like you love, then you might be getting too, like, too comfortable with it. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, because of nervousness, because you don't want to fuck up. You want to do good. You want to be great. You know what I mean? It ain't like nervous. I can't do it. It's like nervous. Like, I want to provide what they yeah. came to see. Right. Shit like that. Right. Yeah. All right. What is uh, Gutter City? The Gutter City, man, is uh, it's a, it's a group. It was started in Philly. It, um, it did have all Philly local battle artists. Mm-hmm. In there, um, they go to jail, as you mean. A lot of people fell off. Um, I came back, I revamped it. Like the nigga who I started it with, you know, he stayed. Um, so I, you know, we we had like a few people that stayed, so we kept them. Um, we recruited, you know, Sco, you know, he's from New York, me and my family, and all of that. And then it just became like a focus of everybody from a different, you know, hood has the same story that we just tell it different. So like gutter city is every city has a gutter in it you know what i'm saying like we just talking from one perspective so you might see you dig what i'm saying you might see a um me go get um a piranha from detroit you know what i'm saying or you might could, yeah you might go see me go get because i believe them niggas type of story everybody got you know what I mean like philly's a hood Chicago a hood, Detroit a hood, New York a hood. You know what I'm saying? You can go anywhere and find a hood. So that's where we try to say. So every city has that. All right. I got four, four mm-hmm. more questions for you. Uh, Let's go. What, um, what would you love to do once battle rap is over or even while you're in a battle rap? What is something you would love to do outside of battle rap? A little um, like acting. You know what I mean? I want um. You know, maybe get a song on the charts, man, man like, like something like that too. You know, like, um, everything is open, man. Possibly like the endless of possibilities that battle rap can bring is just like anything. I think I'm talented to do like um, um anything. So I just want to get into like more avenues. So I mean, I'm, I'm, I am going to work on a um on an album soon. So I mean, hopefully, you know, it can take off a little bit. So what are some or uh, what is a challenge that you have faced in the battle rap industry? As far as, as far as, hmm? like so, any, so. any challenge you face, uh, politics or anything like. I felt like being from Philly was um, like slow at first because you know, like we had like a little dead era. Mm-hmm. Nobody was really paying attention to like the newer niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? When we were saying Philly niggas was always talking Cassidy Reed, nobody ever knew nobody who came, like, from the smaller areas. You know what I mean? So that was always um, big. Um, actually getting into the URL, you know what I mean? As far as, like, yo, you might got to know somebody, you got to do something and all of that. Um, it's a lot of challenges for people because sometimes it's not, if you're talented, sometimes it's, you mean, it's um, who you know. You dig what I'm saying? Um. And I, I think once I got into the URL, that's why I don't play with no opportunity, man. I tell everybody all the time, I'm like, I treat every battle like I can possibly fall the fuck off. You dig what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like the yeah. love I'm getting now might not be the love that I get tomorrow, but you learn that when you go through real shit, though. You yeah. know what I mean? You learn that, yeah, like when you seen bread already and you did that or you had your ups and downs, you learn that shit. So now this is a, I look at this shit like it's a blessing in disguise, bro. I could be in jail right now. Right. I could be fucked up right now. 
but what, what the world is giving me is another fucking chance and I got an opportunity to display like you can make it to the niggas who my age and younger even older like you know what I'm saying like you can still you keep going you can still make it I ain't get onto a smack stage for two years ago bro exactly. <laughs> yeah I see and like you, you say, you've been in it for years so right so it's like yo just keep going and then when you get that opportunity you might not get it again so so you know what I mean so do your best and that's why they say yo I get better every battle but it's just that I'm just, I appreciate it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, cause you know what I mean? So I'm going to give you what I think him in. Like, yeah, like that. So uh, what is your greatest accomplishment you feel in the battle rap arena? And- um, I think this year, I just think my whole two year run, man, it's just going to be going down as like, you mean history. Like as far as came into the game, you mean ultimate man. Huh? Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Came into the game, ultimate madness. I wasn't known. Nobody thought I was going to do nothing. I didn't win the tournament, but I kind of won the tournament. You know what I'm saying? I was like this hand out there, dropped the diss track. You know what I'm saying? Diss track went viral. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. After the diss track, we dropped, we dropped the remix. That went viral again. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And then we go on the killing spree. I think right now is history. I think I'm in history. Definitely. You know I mean? My last question to you, when it is all said and done, when you are long gone from here, what is it you want the people to know about Easy the Black Cat? Um, that I'm just like the best nigga who talks that shit. Like when it comes to that street shit, I want to be known as the best nigga that talks that shit. And I want to go down as top five battle rappers in Philly for sure. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be amongst the greats in battle rap, period. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot of greats, so I mean, uh, but I am pushing to be one of the greatest, so but we have a lot of greats. But as long as I'm, my name is up there with them, I'm, I'm I'm cool. So Okay, cool. So are you locked in for December? Not yet, man. They ain't send a contract, so when they send it, I'm, I'm going to get locked in. You know, it's birds, man. You know I'm about to go talk to them. <laughs> you know this whole time? But it's gonna I know, be- I know. Hey, hey, I'm hey. here. Hey, I'm going to say this, Verb, you better not play with e- Easy. <laughs> uh, and, I, and, I, and I told you, look, Verb called me and I told him, I said, see, I said, see, y'all always got me fucked up. I said, because y'all think I go by y'all last battles. I don't go by, I don't, I'll never do that. I go by the best Verb. I would go to his best Verb and be like, all right, this is what I got to write against. That's what niggas don't do, though. Yeah, I don't man. care if you fucked up in your battle. You got six <laughs> and seven battles. You're going to fuck up here and there. You dig what I'm saying? I don't I don't judge by that. So when they think that I'm coming to sleep, I never, I come to your best. So if you're not that best, it's going to get dark for you. Yeah, man. So, yeah, one battle I want to see uh, is Goods. I, you know, nobody mm-hmm. ever broke down Goods or talked to Goods like I think you can do. <laughs> you know and I think, listen, and I think, and I think he know that too. And I think he know that too. And I think he trying to slide. You mean he trying yeah, to slide think. away from me. I think he trying to slide away from me real quick. Yeah, but man, easy. Stay the same, man. Keep talking this shit, bro. I love how you. I appreciate you, bro. You don't back down for nobody. You be like, hey, we can do whatever. We can do whatever, whatever they want to do. Whatever yeah. they want to do. Keep yeah, your man. heart in it, man. Keep direct. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said too, man. These people got to stop using the do bars, man. They can't. You know, that's the only thing they try to do as a defense mechanism, bro. Like, hey. You don't, it, that shit don't work, man. I don't, you see, I don't even talk about it because that shit exactly. don't work, man. Like, exactly. that shit don't be working. I be bobbing or shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, and we heard it multiple times, man. So, man, I appreciate yeah, you, you man. I'm going to write this article. The article should be out uh, probably early next week and everything, man. So, man. Stop. Copy, copy. I appreciate you. Uh, man, thank you for giving me All this right, time. Bro. Easy and salute, bro. You already know, bro. bro. Salute to you. All right. One.